Losing Akira Toriyama feels like saying goodbye to a part of our childhood. It's kind of like losing that cool uncle who'd tell the best stories, ones that sent your imagination off to far-off lands and adventures that seemed as real as anything. Dragon Ball wasn't just a show or a series of comics, it was a companion through the ups and downs of growing up. Remember, the thrill of watching Goku face off against the Red Ribbon Army or the chills during his battles with Frieza and Cell? Those moments were more than just entertainment. They were life lessons wrapped in epic showdowns and power-ups. Toriyama had this magic touch, creating a world where friendship, resilience, and the drive to be better shone through every saga. It's pretty wild how Dragon Ball crossed oceans and language barriers, embedding itself into so many different cultures. Toriyama, through his drawings and stories, connected us all. He might have been a private guy, preferring his work to speak for itself, but what a conversation he started across the globe. His influence goes beyond just the anime and manga. It seeped into how stories are told in games, movies, and even other comics. New generations of creators have been inspired by him throughout the decades, infusing their work with that same spirit of adventure and heart. Toriyama's world was one where the underdog could save the universe, where villains could become allies, and where every setback was just a setup for a greater comeback. That's something we carried from our childhoods into adult life. This belief that no matter how tough things get, with the right friends and a good heart, you can overcome anything. Akira Toriyama's passing is a moment of reflection on the joy, inspiration, and dreams his work instilled in us. But through Dragon Ball and its adventures, he's left us with something timeless. In every Kamehameha, in every wish granted by Shenron, Toriyama's spirit lives on, reminding us to keep pushing, keep fighting, and keep dreaming. And that's pretty special.